Hey guys, this is a pretty quick guide into your TV just from the very start how to set it up. So the first thing you have to do is take it out of the box and do the whole thing. So we're gonna go through it um, very well in this video as you can see. Now the first thing is that you have to take out all these little tabs on the bottom from your TV. Um, they're pretty easy to take out as you can see you can just press on them and then you just take them out, you just pull them out. Okay, so once you have those out, so this is just a little demonstration how you do it, okay, and then just comes out. Same thing if you want to put it back in, just have to put those things back in. Uh, from there, I would suggest doing this with two people, however, you can do it by yourself, um, but two people will make it a lot, a lot faster, okay, and safer as well. So, once you take out the box, just pulling it upwards, you just have to take all the wrapping out and everything. Just make sure you have everything that comes in the box. So you should have two 3D glasses. Okay, if your TV is a 3D one, um, you will have your remote control, your stand. Okay, and uh, depending on how big your TV is, you will have uh, different types of stands. Okay, so I have to say for the 60 inch, the stand does seem a little bit wobbly, not that stable. However, it's okay, it holds the TV, it does its job. Anyways, um, so just take everything apart, pull the TV out, you can put it on your, t on your um, bed or something like that to make it rest, or you can just put it aside. Uh, these are the things that you should have, okay? So we're gonna attach that to the stand, and then you have your power cable, okay? Uh, your HDMI cable, you have to do that apart. Okay, so this is how it goes on the stand, okay? You do have to put some screws, everything comes with that. So just get your screwdriver, snap it in correctly, okay, and then just put the screws in. This is a pretty quick process, um, didn't take too long, it will take you max 30 minutes if you're having a hard time with it. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You just have four screws right there that we're putting in. After we do that, we will try to put the TV on the stand. That part can be done several ways. You can actually put your TV on your bed and then just put the stand on it, okay? And then you have to take your TV up again and then put it wherever you want. Um, if uh, you want to do it this way, which we did it, it's a faster way, so we just leave the stand exactly where it's gonna go, okay? We have the screws ready for the TV later on. So for this part, you need two people, okay, for sure. You need to slant the TV a little bit and then snap it in, okay? You will kind of see where it goes. So you can see it goes right in the middle, okay? So at first glance, if you try to get it in, just like that, it won't go in. You have to slant your TV just a little bit, and then somebody just has to pull up on it, on the stand, just to get it right in there nice and tug, okay? So your stand will just go snap into it, then you have to put some screws on there, and it'll all be nice and secure. Okay, so, that's what I'm saying that you need two people, but again, you could leave this on your bed and then do it just by yourself, okay? From here, you want to have somebody holding the TV while the other one just put the screws right in there, okay? So there's just a couple of screws that you have to put. And once you're done that, you're pretty much all set. You just have to put the power cable and uh, your HDMI cable if you have a um, a DVD player which requires HDMI or any Blu-ray. That's not part of um, the whole kit. You do not kit all those cables with your TV, whichever TV you have, okay? Now this procedure will be a little bit different if you have a 40 inch or a 50 inch. They're just a little bit different, okay? Um, this 3D 60 inch TV, does it's not that heavy. Um, however, this is how it's supposed to look like, okay? So you can see the screws right there. Okay, and that's what's supposed to fit. So this is exactly how it's supposed to look like, guys, okay? It's different if you want to put it up against your wall. You wouldn't have to put the stand, okay? So you would have to skip this step. Um, after, you just have to plug in your TV, plug it into electrical output, okay? Just plug that in. Don't turn it on right away. Just do all your main setups, you know, your antenna, if you, if you have that, or cable. Just plug that in. You have your HDMI ports right there as well. Okay, inside your TV in your kit, you will see your glasses, you will see your remote control. So this is your remote control, okay? It does come with batteries, so you just have to snap those in. So you basically just put them in, that's pretty basic. Okay, so the back does come out pretty easy. And then you just push on it to 
pop it back in. Okay, then you just have to start your TV, just go through the main process. Um, it's pretty easy, just English, just go next, 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 set up your Wi-Fi for sure. Okay, so test out your connection, make sure everything's working. If you're having problems, then just reset your router, turn it back on, and see if it connects then. Uh, make sure to agree with everything. Okay, with your remote control, um, you can actually point. Okay, so wherever you're pointing, you see that, that dot that goes on the screen? That's where you're pointing with the control. So you can point wherever you want, okay? Um, so that's how the remote control works. You don't have to press anything on the remote. You just move it around and you will see that dot. So you can point wherever you want to press. And then just press the middle for enter, okay? So here you can set up your service provider and all that. You can skip that if you want. You can set it up right now. Uh, it's better just to set it up at the moment. Uh, that depends if you have Rogers or AT&T. Depends, depends who you have. Um, anyways, apart from that, all you have to do, if you want to skip that, you can just go next, next, next. You do have to update. I suggest updating your TV since the start. Don't skip that step. Um, I could even skip everything that has to do with channels, but don't skip the update. That's because it will update later on. And that's one of the things that um, Samsung doesn't do that well. Anyways, with the updates, it kind of bugs you later on. So you have to update it right away. Anyways, the glasses are pretty easy. You just have to open them. Just use one of the batteries to open the top cap off. Then put the battery in. You should get two batteries, but you only have to put in one. Okay, if you put in two, they will not fit. So you have to just put in one. So once you put one in, you can use the other battery to screw it back in, as you can see. Okay, remember to always take the screen protectors off. Okay, um, those are just there for you to know which side is what. Okay, but it's pretty obvious because of the shape of the glasses, which side would be the right side and which side would be the left side. Okay, because one side will have to be red and one side will have to be the blue side. Okay, so you just snap those in, you press the button. Okay, you just hold it for a second till it starts blinking. That means it's on. You can test it out. Um, if you don't have any movies, just go to YouTube and press the 3D button that you see on your remote control. Okay, so once you press your hub button, you should see this. Okay, so you have a few options there. I'm just gonna turn on Netflix so you guys can see how it looks like. Okay, so you can see all your options. Uh, I do have to say myself, I don't like the look that much on Samsung. Uh, in smart TV but it's good it's pretty good anyways um, from there you can just try 3d on your Netflix however you're gonna be a little bit disappointed that it will not work you will see that it's not available so you can't press 3d from any movies or shows on Netflix so sorry guys about that you're gonna have to test it out like I said on YouTube okay so on YouTube when we, see, we go there you will see those options okay put on your 3d glasses and you will see this as 3d um, you also have your voice option which you can just say Netflix and it'll go straight to Netflix anyways that's it for this setup just press your power button to turn it off and if you have it as have any questions comments please write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you